Now what we're going to look here at is calculating appreciation. Okay, so appreciation is when something goes up in value. So what we've got is we've got a house or a flat and that's £43,000 and each year it's going to appreciate by 1.5%. Okay, so there's be 1.5% 1. 1 of the value will be added on and we're wanting to work out for four years what's the the value going to be okay so what we have to think of there is the 43,000 that's when it's a that's a hundred percent of the value okay and it's going to be appreciation by or appreciating by 1.3 so what we do is we add these two together so that gives you a hundred and one point five percent okay so we're going to work out what hundred and one point five percent is now it's always good practice to then convert this into decimal. And what we've got something is called the multiplier, and we'll use that to multiply it against the 43,000, and that will actually give you how much it's worth extra in one year. But what we can also do is we can now say 43,000, and we can times that by the multiplier, and it's not just the one year we're looking at, it's actually four years, so we can go to the power of four. So this is the initial amount. This is 100% plus how much it's going up by each year, but it's converted into decimal, and that's the duration. So if you put this in your calculator, you should be able to work out that. So it's 43000 zero, 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 times... to the power of 4. Okay, so that's £43,000 times 1.015 to the power of 4. And that's your answer there. Okay, so after 4 years, that's how much your house is worth. So that's 45638. Point six three pence. Yeah, so all you need to do is just think about get the amount it's worth, initially worth, multiply it by the multiplier, and that's the duration you're looking for. Right, so next question is actually we're looking at depreciation. So this is when something loses its value. So we buy a piano for £3,000 and it depreciates 18% each year, and they're wanting just to work out after three years what's it worth. So it's initially worth. 3,000, so that's 100% of the actual value, and we know that each year its depreciation is 18%, so it actually loses 18% of its value. So if we actually subtract 18 from 100, we'll tell, that will tell you what it's worth after one year, so it's worth 82% of the original value, and that is the same as 0 0.82. So what we've now got is a multiplier that we can use for the 3,000. So we can now say it's initially worth £3,000. After one year, it'll be worth 3,000 times 0 0.82, which represents 82%. But it's not for just one year we're looking for, so it's actually for three years. So we just do to the power of the duration we're looking at. And just like the last one, we just work that out. So that's 3,000 times 0 0.82 and that's to the power of 3 and that now says that after 3 years your piano is worth 1654.1 so that's 1654.1 pence ok so with depreciation you look at the percent it's depreciating by and you take it away from 100 when it was appreciation you added it so think of that as you deduct it from it hey right, so here's another one it's about an iceberg and each day it loses 25 percent of its weight okay so they're just wanting to know after three days how much it's weighing so the initial value or initial weight is 84,000 tons and it's 25% for each day. 
So what we need to think of is that it starts off 100% of its weight and after one day it loses 25%. So after one day it's going to be 75% of the original weight. And if you write this in decimal, what we've now got is, again, it's a multiplier. So what we do is we say, well, it starts off at 80, 84,000 tonnes. After one day, this would be 75% of the original weight. However, it's going to be after three days, so we just do to the power of three. And we just then put this in your calculator. So that's 84,000 times... 0 0.75 to the power of 3 and so after 3 days that's how many tonnes so that's 35,437 35,437.5 tonnes ok so obviously if it's decreasing it's going to be a smaller number in this example we've got bacteria and it's going to from 12 o'clock to 5, there is 50,000 bacteria and they increase at a rate of 4.6 every hour. Okay, so they just want to know how many will be from 12 o'clock up to 5. So if you count, count from 12 to 5, that's actually 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you're talking about 6 hours. Now, what we've got is we know it starts off with 50,000, so that's all the bacteria, 100% of the, all the bacteria, and after each hour, it's increased by 4.6. So that's a equivalent of 104.6% increase. And in decimal, that's 1.06, or 1.046, I should say. And that's our multiplier. So what we say is we say, well, it's... 50,000 bacteria times our multiplier, so each hour it's 104.6% increase, and it's going to be for 6 hours. And again, we just put this into the calculator. So that's 50, 1, 2, 3, times 1.046, exponent 6. And that is how much bacteria is now there. Okay, so that's 65487. Okay, so that's an increase from that time and with this rate. And me seeing that 6 is actually a load of rubbish because if you go 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 23, 3, 4, and 45. Okay, so you should actually, or I should have actually put that to the power of 5. Okay, so can you just rerun this through the calculator and put that to the power of 5? Now, with this example, they call this reverse percentage because what you've got is a food processor that had 20% knocked off it and they paid £120 for it. So they're just wanting you to work out, well, what would it be full price? Okay, so that's why the original price, if it had 20% knocked off, they've actually paid 80% of the original price. And what they did is they paid £120 for it. Okay, so what we can actually work out, you can always, always have it like an equation, we can then work out, well, what is 1% worth if 80% was worth £120? What was 1%? So if we work out 1%, we just, just take the 180 or 120, divide that by your 80%, and that should give you 120 divided by 80. That gives you £1.50. So essentially 1% of this food processor is actually £1.50. If we actually then want to work out 100%, i.e. what it was worth before this 20% discount, we just take the £1.50 and just times it by 100. And that should give you your answer of £150. So that's how much the food processor originally was before 
it knocked off 20%, okay? And that's how you do reverse. Now with this one, again, it's a reverse percentage. What you've got is you've got a bungalow. It is now valued at 180,000, and that is a 6% appreciation from last year. So last year it was essentially 6% less than this. So what we can see is 106% because adding 6% onto last year's value, last year's value at that time was 100%. So of the value, the price, the property, so we add 6% onto it and that was, that's now given us a value of 180,000. Okay, so what we can work out, just work out 1% again, so 1% is your 180,000 Divide that by 106, that should then give you, so that's 180,000, divide that by 106, so essentially 1% of your house is 1698.11, okay, so each percent of your house costs that, so if we then think about well, 100%, which was last year's, because remember, it's gone up by 6%, so that's why it's 106. So last year's, you just times 1698.11, times that by 100, which I'm right a wee bit neater, and that is 1698.11 pounds. So that's what the house was worth last year and that's what it's worth this year with a six percent appreciation and the last week question is just talking about a tree measured 12 meters tall and somebody called bill said it was a 15 increase 15 percent increase in height from last year and bill thinks the tree must have been 10.7 meters last year is he correct so we're going to work out what the height was last year so we know that it's a 15 percent increase from last year so well, last year's height was last year's height, so it was a hundred percent. So we've added an extra fifteen percent onto it to get the increase to twelve meters. So we can say, well, a hundred and fifteen percent gives you twelve meters. So we can work out what one percent is. So one percent is this year twelve divided by one hundred and fifteen. So that's. 12 to pay by 115. Okay, and that is 0, to say 0 0.104 meters. Okay, so 1% height of the tree was essentially 10 centimeters. Now we we'll would have to try and prove if it was indeed 10.7. So we times that by 100, so 100% will just equal 0 0.104 times 100. And that is equal to 10.4 meters. Okay, so if I times that by 100, just to, just to prove it, okay. So we can now say, well, he isn't correct because it was actually 10.4 meters, so is not correct. Okay, so that's, that's another reverse percent question.